Today we learn about how to grow your channel and set up collaborations. And then we're gonna find out who our three winners are in our $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. What is up, Freedom? My name is Zesty Mike, and today we're gonna talk about one of the most effective ways to grow your channel collaboration. If Jim Bob has a thousand subscribers and you have a thousand subscribers, chances are you guys don't share the same subscriber base. So if you guys do a collab together, then you guys are going to be promoting yourselves to a thousand brand new people. This is why collaboration is one of the fastest ways to grow your channel. Now there are good ways and bad ways to go about setting up a collaboration. Hey yo Jim Bob, you want to make one of them collaboration videos? Well that depends. What type of video do you have in mind? I don't know, just want all your subscribers. For some reason, YouTubers are often intimidated by collaboration or just sometimes doing it flat out wrong. Now the easiest way to go about collaboration is to find channels that have similar subscriber bases as you. A good rule of thumb is to add a zero and take away a zero from your subscriber base, and that would be a good place to start looking for people to collaborate with. So for instance, if you have a thousand subscribers, look for anybody that has between a hundred and ten thousand subscribers, and chances are you'll get a good response out of the people that you contact. Now it is possible to collaborate with larger YouTubers as well. It's not quite as hard as what you guys might think, but we will touch on that in the later part of this video. So Freedom, time, time for, for some, some collaboration, collaboration etiquette. etiquette. Don't spam their Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube with comments like, Hey Jim Bob, can we make one of them their videos together? Instead compose a friendly message and send it to their business email. If a few days go by and they haven't responded, then you could follow up with their social media of choice and say, Hello Jim Bob, I'm writing you this message to see if you might have received my friendly email. And keep in mind, not everyone is going to respond to you, so if they don't respond, just move on to the next one and try again. Now you might be wondering, how do you receive their business email? Now it's actually quite simple. You're going to go to the tube of you, go to their channel, click about, and then you're going to see an option, more times than not, that says business inquiries. You click that, type in the capture code, and then it gives you your email and you can send them your friendly email. Now when we come back, we're going to be talking about how to collaborate with larger YouTubers. Making friends, making videos, growing your channel. It sounds like my cup of tea. I like friends. Oh, you like friends too. Oh, yes you do. Oh, you like kissing lady faces. You're persistent. And now, in no particular order, it's time for our two runners up in the $100,000 sponsorship picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And you get to choose from these select prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. If you want to know more about the $100,000 sponsorship, check out the video in the sidebar for more information. And now to con artist Rick, who stole part of my job in this show to announce who the runners up are. Hey Rick. Our first runner up is Mr. Crazy Knifer. He went ahead and helped the Freedom family out in real time by providing responses to his comment that asked for channel and graphic design reviews. Our next runner up is Insonark. He contributed to the video's topic and started some great discussion amongst the Freedom family about when it's okay or not okay to use the copyright flagging system on YouTube. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, and remember, you're still eligible to win first prize in a future Impulse episode. And now, the Zesty Dude. Who does his name Zesty? Lemon peel? Like lemon zest? And we're back! Congratulations on placing and well done! So in my past, I've collaborated with Amnesion, Swift Karate Chop, Ed Bassmaster, Todd from Barely Political, SMP Films, and a few other big YouTubers. Onision was my first big collab, and I had about 500 subscribers, and at the time, he had about 800,000. So why did Onision want to waste his time on a small channel like mine? because I had something to offer him. Each and every one of you have a talent that you're good at. Whether it's something you could apply to videos is a different story, but take that talent and embrace it and see who can use your talent. Whether it be filmmaking, you can work with a filmmaker. Whether it be you're a musician, you can make music for people. Or you're a graphic designer who can make awesome graphics or intros for people. Or even if you're a voiceover artist or if you're just a gamer who's really funny. Take these talents and see who can use this and who could benefit from using your talent in their video. Now if your talent is something of this YouTuber needs, chances are they're going to want to work with you because they're going to be able to get whatever they're needing for free and then in return you're going to be able to get exposure from their channel so it's a win-win situation for both. So figure out what your talent is, find who needs it, and then offer up your talent to anyone who might need it and hopefully get some responses and start growing your channel. So today's viewer question comes from that squid and it asks, how do you keep background sound out of your video, for example wind, weather, or people in other rooms? Awesome question, that squid. Now there are a lot of editing techniques you could use to clean 
clean up your audio, but that takes a lot of work and a lot of time, and it can get annoying if you have to do it each and every time you want to make a video. Instead, look for a directional mic that's only going to pick up sounds directly in front of it, instead of what's behind or around or anything else. A lot of mic issues occur if you're simply using the wrong mic. Now, a directional mic is only going to tune out people in the other rooms because it picks up what's right in front of it. Now, weather, on the other hand, is a completely other story. If you're talking about filmmaking, I recommend using a shotgun mic, and then get a windscreen for it, and you can even go as far as putting a dead cat around it, which sounds a little odd, but if you're a filmmaker, you'll understand. And if that's not even enough, then you could use a blimp to put around it. And if that is too expensive for you, you could simply put a sock on your shotgun and it will tune out a lot of the sound. Now, if you're talking about gameplay commentary, I'm a little concerned why there's weather inside your house, but you might be talking about what's outside again. So again, what I would recommend is getting a directional mic. I personally use the Audio-Technica 2020 and you can get it right up close and it's only gonna pick up your voice and nothing else around. You. So now outside the room, I'm going to go ahead and play one of my videos on my phone turned up all the way so we can kind of show you what we're talking about, how it will tune out the different sounds that are behind it. Alright, so I have my phone outside the room playing one of my vlogs from the other day, so now when I talk about random carrot, penguin, sasquatch, dingle dong, thing dong, ding dong dongs, you can't really hear the sound in the background. And the door is open. So now if I shut the door, you can't even hear the noise in the background, or if you can, it's very subtle. And if I add background music over top of it, you're not going to hear anything at all. And that's simply because the mic of choice, and we never did any editing. Anyways, that squid, thank you for your great question. If you want to be featured in the next video, be sure to leave a comment down below, ask me a question, I'll do my best to answer each and every one of them. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. If you want to see more of me, or Brittany even, we have a daily vlog channel where we post up videos every single day. You can hang out with us, subscribe, the links are in the description, and the annotations in the end slate. And you can actually even see the making of this new set. I love hearing from you guys and can't wait to hear more from you. But now back to Brittany for the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner of today's $100,000 sponsorship, powered by Freedom. Thanks, Zester. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's see who's gonna win $250 in grand prizes. And you get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by our partners with Freedom. Now, let's hear from Rick, since the only attention he's gonna get is from his robot friends. Aww. And today's winner is K-Shot. K-Shot's advice is to keep the video short and sweet, as well as to stay consistent with your uploading schedule. K-Shot was incredibly active in the comments and feels it's wrong that YouTubers exploit glitches, but at the same time, it's also part of the game. K-Shot FTW. K-Shot, you're full of win. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, on a job well done. Remember, guys, share your knowledge. Discuss today's topics and interact with other Freedom Partners in the comments below. You too could be rewarded for helping the community grow as a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse, and tomorrow, Brittany's gonna be going over some news on VidCon 2015. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany. And I like friends. <laughs>